Hi, this is Pastor Greg Mayhorn, and I'm glad you're joining me today for a few minutes in the Word of God. I want to talk to you about change. There was a movie a few years ago that was called Groundhog Day. Some of you will remember that comedy, and of course the storyline was that the main character was living the same day over and over and over again. And you know, as I thought about that, I thought about how so many people live their lives really that way, in a way, because every day is kind of a repeat of yesterday things never seem to change yet I don't know of anybody that's lived very long that doesn't want some kind of change maybe it's in their family maybe it's in their home uh, with kids it might be something to do with um, their uh, job their finances their health their emotional state but most of us know something or someone that needs to be changed and so I want to talk to you about that today, a little bit today and probably the next time we get together as well, how that we can affect positive change. The great uh, physicist, the great genius Albert Einstein defined insanity as being uh, doing the same thing over and over again but expecting a different result. And you know that's what so many people do, but God wants us to have the power to change. He, he gives us that power. And one of the things that we can understand about him is he doesn't change. He's the only real constant there is. All the spiritual laws, all the spiritual principles that he has given to us in the word, they are all unchangeable. But everything we can see in the natural, you know, I'm standing out here today outside in July, it's a beautiful sunny day. And all these natural things are subject to change and they will change. Wood rots, trees grow, they die away. Things come and go in the natural, but God never changes. And so I want to encourage you for the first part of change in your life is to realize that you're gonna have to depend on God. He is the unchanging one. We don't wanna just try to add two plus two and hope it ends up as five, doing that over and over and over again. We don't wanna do that. We want to, we want to affect change as it really needs to be. So how do I do this? Well, the first place that I found where we need to have change usually is in me. I usually can't affect change anywhere else unless I'm willing to change myself. And I've also found that when I change, then usually all those other things I'm wanting to change, they're either not as bad or the problem goes away. Or if I'm trying to affect change in other people, it's amazing how when I make changes, those other people seem to change. It just gets better. Why? Because we are responsible for our own lives. We're, we're the people who are going to stand before God, give an account of what we do, what we've said, how we've operated in life. And so therefore change begins with me. And I want you to think about that today. Just forget about what all those other people should do, what you wish they would do. If they did this, it would be better. But just understand God wants to affect change in me. Now there are a number of reasons why people don't want change. One thing is people are just afraid of change. They just don't like to do things differently. And you know, I found the older I get, the more true that is. We, we like our routines, we like the way we do things, but uh, we can't get satisfied with the way that things are and miss God's best. We also sometimes fall into a trap of thinking that things are gonna get better if I just keep doing this over and over again. Somehow I'm gonna wake up and it's gonna be better just by magic. That's not true. That's just not true. I heard a wise man of God who's now with the Lord, Dr. Edwin Lewis Cole, say probably over 25 years ago, and I've never forgotten it. He said, change isn't change until it's change. And what that means is you can pray about change. You can think about change. You can talk about change. You can want change. You can even make plans for change. But nothing is going to change until we make some changes. I just want to encourage you to get before God, get in the Word, and just ask the Lord, what kind of changes can I make? Where can I start? Don't try to do everything at once, but begin somewhere affecting change and let it begin with you and with me. If you enjoy the Facebook posts, you enjoy our website, if you enjoy these videos, I want to encourage you to uh, listen to some messages in full. And you can get those on iTunes. You can get those on our website, www.freedomword.org. We would love to be able to share more of the good news with you. Until next time, this is Pastor Greg Mayhorn telling you.